Dr. Vanita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. So today's video is all about bikini hyperpigmentation. It's something uh, that tends to affect um, females of colour. It tends to occur during puberty and simultaneously um, darkening happens not just of the bikini area, but also of the underarm area and also around the mouth area too. So what happens is during puberty, the, your melanocytes become triggered and that's normal. And actually having bikini pigmentation is normal. There are a few things that can make the situation worse. And that is, uh, the number one cause is ingrown hairs. So when we um, shave uh, pubic hair, for example, the hair shaft becomes sharp and it curls back and can re-pierce the skin. When this happens, it is seen as a foreign body and as an inflammatory response. There's irritation and that can lead to redness and then hyperpigmentation. So imagine over years, this can, uh, this can just get worse and worse. And I think um, it really does affect females, especially if you are completely hairless in that area. In addition to this, when you shave the area, you can also get a razor burn um, just because of that close contact and that friction. And that can also lead to inflammation, which triggers the melanocytes and makes the pigmentation darker. This is one of the reasons I do prefer hot wax for this area rather than shaving. But if you do love to shave, then what I would say is it's essential to soften the hair and the skin with your shaving cream and water. You need to use a single blade, not multiple blades, single blade, sharp razor, um, and just a single pass as well. Don't keep going over the area again and again because you're increasing your chances of inflammation and pigmentation. Other really important thing is make sure in this area you're not you're using NAF safe products. That means no denatured alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils. Because again, the last thing we want here is contact dermatitis, which can lead to inflammation again, hyperpigmentation. The other thing that can make pigmentation worse is any form of friction or chafing. So this is why we say wear loose underwear, loose knickers, uh, because I don't want that friction happening from the cloth all day long. If you find that the pigmentation is spreading down to the inner thighs, um, then what I would say is make sure you start wearing cycling shorts and tights because I don't want thighs rubbing together. That is going to lead to more friction. This tends to be worse in the summer, to be honest, because of sweating, because now you, the friction is leading to burns um, and that's something we really need to avoid. And the third thing you're going to notice if you uh, go through pregnancy is the area can get darker during pregnancy, which is normal and is temporary. As we get older, uh, as we get older, as we get more pregnant and you can't even see your feet, you definitely can't see anything else. <laughs> you might not even notice it. <laughs> now, whatever is causing it, whether it's hormonal, whether it's friction, whether it's re-entry of pubic hair, which is leading to ingrowns and hyperpigmentation, the mechanism of action is the same. Tyrosine converts to melanin using the enzyme tyrosinase. Tyrosinase controls the rate of that reaction. If we can slow down tyrosinase, that enzyme, you will slow down the rate of conversion from tyrosine to melanin. And so really that is the enzyme to target. This is why we always talk about tyrosinase inhibitors. It's a category of ingredients that targets the enzyme tyrosinase to slow it down and slow down the rate of melanin production. When you slow it down in the melanocyte, what happens is less melanin then seeps into the skin cells around it. So when these skin cells come to the surface, you don't see as much hyperpigmentation. Now the ideal ingredients for bikini pigmentation need to be tyrosinase inhibitors that don't irritate the skin because the skin here is very delicate. You don't want to be using low pH actives or acids in this area just in case it goes inside by accident. Um, and also make sure that these ingredients are only used for external use only, i.e. where hair grows from, not inside, that's the mucosa, um, that skin is different and you can't use these actives on it. So when I'm talking about bikini pigmentation, I'm talking about the pubic area where hair grows, um, not internal. Right, so the ingredients that I love would be azelaic acid, niacinamide, 
alpha arbutan, phytic acid, licorice extract, Burberry extract, tetrahexyl ascorbate, that's your fat soluble vitamin C, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, that's your water soluble vitamin C, retinol, retinaldehyde, and retinol palmitate. I also love kojic dipalmitate. I love octadecanoic acid. It's one of my favorite tyrosinase inhibitors. It's so effective. We don't use it enough and it's great for skin of color. Um, I love lactic acid. And then I also want you to use ceramides, humectants. Those are water magnets. So these are skin restoring ingredients. Um, emollients and anti-inflammatories because don't forget when you're using this number of actives you want to be calming the melanocyte at the same time and actually often the cause of the pigmentation is inflammation so that's the other reason why anti-inflammatories are so important treating bikini pigmentation so can you guess yes I looked and there are no products out there with all these actives in it that are ideal for bikini pigmentation. You know, you might find one product that has alpha arbutin. You might have one product that has, you know, retinol. You might find one product that has kojic dipalmitate, for example, but you're not gonna find a product that has all of these actives in one kit. So guess what I did? I decided to make it for you. I created the world's first bikini pigmentation kit for skin of color. I am so excited about this one. It's actually a really big kit. <laughs> it's three pieces in this kit. So this is the mask. Let me show you what it looks like inside. It's like a jelly. That's your tyrosinase inhibiting jelly mask. And it is soothing for the area. Next we have your bikini active. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just take a bit, just to rub it in to show you. And again, this is loaded with tyrosinase inhibitors. And lastly, we have your Bikini Hydra, and that's what it looks like. It is your skin soothing moisturizer. It's got aloe, it's got your niacinamide, and it's a fatty moisturizer, which creates a healing environment for the skin. And you apply this either on top of the mask or on top of your Hydra on top of your active, sorry. So the way it works is two to three nights a week, you apply your mask on clean skin and you leave it on for about five to 10 minutes. If there's no irritation, you apply your moisturizer, your Hydra on top. The remaining four to five nights, you apply your active, that's your tyrosinase inhibiting cream, followed by your Hydra, that's your moisturizer. If you've shaved or waxed, then please wait for one week before you use the kit. If you are doing laser hair removal, I tend to say wait four weeks because just in case there's any irritation from laser, I don't want that Irrit um, the irritated skin then having actives being put on it is only, only going to lead to issues for you. Make sure you use this on unbroken healthy skin. Please avoid on a damaged skin barrier if the skin is red, burgundy, sore, irritated, inflamed, then you do not want to be applying high strength actives to it. Also, please, please remember this is for external use only, i.e. where the hair grows from, not internal mucosa. This kit is expensive. This kit costs £120 per kit. Please do not purchase it if, the, if it's not affecting your quality of life. The only reason I made this is because of the number of messages I've received from women um, with skin of colour and there was absolutely nothing that I could offer to them. I couldn't even say, can you go and purchase this thing or this thing because... The area in this, this skin is delicate and you have to be very careful. Um, so this is the only reason I made it. Uh, so this kit is only if it's affecting your quality of life. It's absolutely normal to have bikini pigmentation. It happens during puberty. Um, but I think it affects some more than others and I just wanted you to have something safe to use. The other question I get asked is, Dr. V, how, may, how long does it last? When do I start seeing results? Um, I tend to say if, it's, if you've had pigmentation for years, then it may take six full cell cycles. So that's approximately six months. Um, one kit can last you anything from three months to six months, depending on how much you're using. Um, I tend to say about four months it's going to last you. So just do, I would say purchase one kit first, see how you get on, see if you're happy at that four or five month mark. If you are, great, you don't need to do anything else. If you think actually I'm starting to see results, but I'd like to do, you know, buy one more kit, then that's absolutely fine too. Once you've seen results, then you, as long as you don't re-trigger your melanocytes, i.e. no more ingrown hairs, i.e. Um, uh, less friction happening from knickers, etc. Um, then you shouldn't have to do this again. 
So the aim of this is to calm down the melanocyte and bring it back to a lower level that you can just maintain. The other thing to note is that results do vary from person to person and it's not a guarantee. It really does depend on your compliance, but also how resistant your cells are. You can purchase a kit from Skincare by Dr. V. It is now available um, and I'll put the link down below for you. Don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. So please do come and ask me your questions. Um, don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin of color. The link is down below. And please do follow me on Instagram at the High Pigmentation Clinic Skincare by Dr. V and also on TikTok, Dr. Nita Rattan. Thank you very much.